For more than 80 years, it's been the ultimate utility vehicle. A machine capable of seating nine and hauling just about anything. The Suburban's one of the biggest things you can buy right now. That's sort of its appeal. A name that spans 12 generations and helps build a country. The Suburban has kind of followed the history of America. It defined what an SUV could be as a family vehicle. Today, this mega SUV is super built in the heart of Texas. Everything's bigger and better, and this is the biggest SUV on our lineup, and it couldn't be prouder. Pride that goes by the name Chevrolet Suburban, the longest continuously produced automobile ever made. It is the original go anywhere, do anything super SUV. Sometimes you just need to be able to haul a lot of things long distances. A machine that's been barreling down the road long before anyone knew the term sport utility vehicle. If you've never spent any time with one, you don't understand. But it's one of the best kept secrets in the automotive industry. This is an all-rounder that does everything well. Over the years, competitors have come and gone. Yet the Chevrolet Suburban remains relatively the same. Suburban sort of is its own thing now. It's this big, large SUV. It doesn't have a lot of competition. This is one of those examples where a company looks at a success story and says, don't mess with it. Generations of families owned Suburbans. It has that intangible quality. You have that kind of history. It matters to people. These days, the Suburban's history is written inside General Motors' Arlington assembly plant. It's the company's lone Texas factory, yet perhaps it's most important worldwide. Because this is the only place where the company manufactures its Chevrolet, GMC, and Cadillac full-sized SUVs. We are in the heart of the plant. The assembly process is four main departments. We have a stamping where we shape the metal components. Then we go to body shop where all the welding happens. We go into the paint process. Then uh, they are delivered into a general assembly. The factory is part of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, a contiguous urban area that features multiple city centers. You have Dallas, you have Fort Worth, we're right in the middle. More than six million people live in the region, making this the fourth largest metropolitan area in the United States. Everyone here is happy to have this truck here. We're definitely proud of what we build. Uh, any truck that I see on the road, I know that we had something to do with it. The plant is crucially important to the company's bottom line because full-size SUVs are some of the most profitable vehicles produced in the automotive industry. It doesn't cost them that much to build it versus what they sell it for, and they sell a lot of them too. These vehicles are critical to the success of our company, and I think it's critical to the success of our economy, from my perspective. An average full-size SUV brings in nearly 7,200 pounds in profit. And right now, they sell them faster than they can build them. It's the 24 hours of the day. Most of the weeks, we work six days. By the end of the week, we have a very significant volume. When a factory is open six days a week, 24 hours a day, that says the company's paying attention and they're maximizing that factory. You don't want downtime. It's just smart business. It's often said that everything is bigger in Texas, and they're not kidding. Arlington Assembly produces 1,200 new vehicles every single day. We're a big state, and therefore we big, big trucks, 
And hey, I'm not gonna say we have large people that drive them, but we just love doing everything in a big way. Nearly 4,200 people clock into this factory daily. So this plant uh, starts a regular operation for the week on Sunday night, and we go all the way through Saturday night. It, it can be hard work, it can be challenging. You're always here, so you know, you got your family and then you got your GM family. The people I work with are great, we're brothers. It takes everybody from the top to the bottom to make this work. There's a lot of people working hand in hand, working Side by side, we all have our different roles to ensure that this vehicle comes out of here as a quality built vehicle in time. The 400,000 square meter plant features 280 stations on the General Assembly line. The duck time is 62, 63 seconds. We deliver one truck per minute. That's not a lot of time, a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure. Very few automotive factories can even come close to producing one vehicle per minute. This plant makes a lot of money, so there's a lot of revenue going out into the city, to the state. Uh, so it's, it's excellent for them, and it's excellent for the economy. Excellence that adds up. Arlington Assembly pays out over £700,000 in wages per day. And annually, the plant contributes over £300 million to the local economy. This is a big monument for Arlington. Uh, more than anything, you know, it brought a lot of business. It has a great impact on the Arlington economy. And a lot of other businesses also benefit from the assembly plant being here. On a macro level, the plant helps the general community. But look a little closer, and it's clear that the success helps the men and women on the line. It's been a blessing. Put food on the table, get my kids to school, you know, things like that. I love getting up, coming out here to work every day. I think it's a blessing, first of all, from God that I am able to have this type of job. But it is absolutely a wonderful experience. I wouldn't have traded it for nothing in the world. I love what I do. Uh, I couldn't picture working anywhere else. I, I, I like being part of a team that builds this amazing product. In 2015, GM invests more than one billion pounds to build new body and paint shops, as well as retool the existing factory lines. Yet the plant is so important that they never shut it down during construction. This project is taking place as we keep producing. We cannot stop the line. It's really important for our country that we have a, a strong manufacturing presence. But I think that we realize that we need to build our own product and not buy everybody else's products. The goal isn't just to feed consumerism, but to create vehicles with meaning. Machines that last. You're going to drive these trucks to the end, and that's exactly what we want. We make these trucks so that your kids are going to inherit them. If you consider more than 4,000 people, thousands of part numbers, thousands of tools that are uh, working, sometimes 10 cycles per minute, it's uh, very demanding, very complicated by definition. You got rolls of aluminum, rolls of steel. You got so many different parts coming in here and leaving on a rolling, driving machine. It's unfathomable how complex it is. It still boggles my mind. All of that complexity begins with a very big bang. This is where the magic happens. We stamp the parts. The parts come in as a sheet of metal. They press a shape into it, they puncture holes through it, and out pops the part. The star attraction is the giant pressing line. It's huge. It's incredible. The dies go in. You make whatever part you need. You're constantly building. It's amazing. You stand at the goal line, and you look down 50 yards, and that's where the end of our press is, about half the size of a football field. The transformation begins when metal blanks arrive. This is a roof, and it's about 
uh, 30 thousandths of an inch thick. So if you can imagine, that's very thin. The uh, pork truck operator loads this uh, stack of steel into what we call our D-stacker. It picks it up, checks for double blanks, and it loads it to what we call a centering station. And from the centering station, it goes through a washing process. A blank goes through five main steps. The first is called the draw, and it's the most jarring. This is where a flat panel is pressed into a rough piece. Well, at this point, it has no color on it. It has no trimming, so it's just bare metal. Next, they trim the part, then pierce it, before flanging and re-striking it once and for all. We're at the end of the uh, line, and this is the final product you see. There's an incredible amount of pure force on display. Yet the greatest strength comes down to the people. My older daughter asked me, what do you do, Dad? And I tell her that I make the, the greatest SUV on planet Earth. And I'll see a, a Suburban going down the street, and I'll say, darling, we make those. A lot of people are married. My husband works here. We work together. Sometimes I dream about him. So, you know, it's like he never goes away. It's like mildew. He grows on you. <laughs> Stamped parts head directly to the body shop, where it takes a lot of sparks and a touch of Texas pride to get the job done.